Josh, what, uh, what skilled players on offense stood out to you today? Man, I, I thought the running backs as, uh, as an entire group uh, did some really positive things. Uh, Dylan Sampson made some people miss, did a great job pressing uh, double teams. Cam Selden uh, did a really nice job running the football, uh, did a good job taking care of it. Um, Deshaun Bishop, there were a lot of really good things from that running back room in particular. Did with the running backs performing well, does that mean the offensive line had, had a, maybe a better day than they did on Saturday? Um, well, <laughs> watching the video will we'll tell the true story. I did think in general that they, uh, they did a good job on the first and second level and, and uh, created some space. All of those pieces play off of each other. The offensive line, thick on double teams, good in their identifications. Uh, I thought the tight ends did a really good job on some of the second level uh, things that they were asked to do. And the running backs uh, ran hard. They ran with good pad level. Has what Deshaun Bishop been able to do been surprising to you at all? Uh, not surprising what, what Deshaun's done. Uh, I, and I say that. He's handled the, uh, you know, transitioning into college football extremely well. But we thought he was extremely athletic. I uh, thought he had great vision, pace uh, as a running back coming out of high school. He's done a really good job of, of handling the communication system and uh, it not being too big for him since uh, since day one. Proud of what he's done. Right wide receiver. Anything jump out to you with those guys? Uh, no, I mean, there were some, some positives, some big plays. Um, you know, we had a couple drops in the middle of the football field that had an opportunity to be a big play, too. Um, you know, that group's got to continue to grow in their understanding, uh, operating efficiently. I think that's an area that that group can continue to get better at. But uh, they've been highly competitive, been physical, and, and done a really nice job all spring. Defensively, you were pretty, seemed pretty pleased with Saturday. Was it better in some ways, worse in some ways today? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think the tackling in the open field uh, was as good as, and consistent as it was uh, the other day. Um, gave up a couple of big runs. Um, you know, you got to be uh, gap integ integrity and uh, you got to tackle well. Uh, there were times that it was really efficient, really good on the defense side of the ball. There were a couple of big plays that, uh, that we gave up that you can't do. Uh, all in all, I thought they operated uh, really well. Uh, we put them in some situations, uh, game management, four-minute situation at the end of the game. There's a lot of things that we can learn uh, in that. We've hit that the first two uh, scrimmages. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think uh, there's some things that we can get better at in that. But, uh, you know, taking care of the football, being smart decision makers, handling communication, handling the pace, uh, everybody's done a really nice job. Uh, continuing growing. He's a, a long ways uh, away from being where we need him to, um, but that's understandable. Uh, where he's at this part in spring ball, really happy with uh, what, what he's done, his work ethic, attention to detail, ability to rebound, and uh, how intentional he is in the way that he works. Uh, he's continued to get better every time that he gets on the field, which is what you want to see out of young guys. What do you like what Cam Selden's given to yeah, I just thought, thought today, um, you know, the last couple of practices have been really solid from him. He, he's ran with good pad level. He's a guy that's transitioning from playing a lot out in space to, to being at the running back position uh, really full time. Um, he's continuing to grow in his understanding how to press the, the line of scrimmage and understand how things are going to be blocked versus different fronts. Uh, he took good care of the football today. He got pad under pad. He finished plus two. Uh, a lot of positives. What can you see differently from a scrimmage in here that you can't see in just a normal practice? Yeah, I think coaches being off on the sidelines, the players being able to handle, solve problems while they're out there, they have to do that on their own. they got to handle, um, you know, being able to reload from one play to the next, handling game uh, situations as you continue to drive the football. It's as real as it's going to be up until we get to, uh, to kick off in Nashville next, next uh, September. Where do you feel like you are at offensive tackle? You got some experience there, some competition. Yeah, um, great competition up front, and uh, uh, guys that are continuing to compete. Um, we're deeper in that room, um, so much deeper than we were when we first got here in, in last year too. So uh, there's really good competition, and uh, that drives all of us to be better. Um, you know, each of them have a little bit different skill set, but at the end of the day, I feel like all of them can be really efficient and effective in the run game and uh, have done a nice job in pass protection throughout the course of spring ball. Sounds like there was a whole lot of work done uh, at the line of scrimmage today. You talk about the run game and those sort of things. Was there more emphasis in the, within the box today? Uh, heavy emphasis uh, of being able to be efficient with the run game. Some of the situational football dictates that you, you want to be able to run the football. Talking about the four-minute situation at the end. 
Uh, all in all, you know, for us, we want to maintain balance in, in what we do on the line of scrimmage is uh, extremely important. Um, Got to dominate that on both sides of the, the line of scrimmage, defensively and offensively. Should those running backs, you mentioned those younger running backs, think that they have a chance in the fall when Jabari is back and Jalen is healthy to, to get in the rotation? Yeah, they... We're, we're going to need them all. Um, you know, there, there's times where you stay uh, really healthy for a really long period of time. You never know when your opportunity is going to come. We're going to need all of these guys throughout the course of the season. Competition, iron sharpens iron. Um, we're going to need that absolutely. Everybody on this roster better believe that they got an opportunity to play next uh, next fall and continue to sharpen their skills. And you know that's fundamentals. It's technique. It's understanding what we do offensively, defense, special teams. Uh, it's being able to to be a mature competitor and handle everything that comes at you. Where do you see the freshman linebackers improve from scrimmage one to scrimmage two? Yeah, I see a lot more from those guys is uh, you get a chance to sit in and evaluate the tape. Are their eyes on the, the right keys? Uh, are they playing over the top? Are they being able to be disruptive and, and destruct blocks? Um, I really like that group as a whole. Uh, they're smart, they're competitive, they're great teammates, and uh, uh, they've been nothing but uh, uh, extremely intentional in the way that they've worked every practice out on the grass. Um, they're athletic, they got great ability to move, should be able to help us on teams. Um, I'll see you know, how they played today when we get a chance to watch, uh, uh, walk, walk in and watch the tape. Did you get more of a look at, at Dante Thornton today? Um, did not get a ton of, uh, of work with uh, Dante. Got some um, yesterday out on the practice field. Um, you know, he's got a lot of the skill sets that, uh, that we're looking for and, and uh, you know, back half spring ball continuing to, to develop him. What role or responsibility, responsibility does Joe have in understanding the run game? Not him running, but understanding how to run the offense to the run game. Our guys control everything. I don't think there's anybody in America that puts more on their quarterbacks. Uh, run run checks, run pass checks, loaded boxes, alerts, kills. Um, they got to do it all. And um, so he's highly instrumental in the efficiency and effectiveness of our run game. He's progressing in that then, you think, in the spring? Yeah, I think he's got really good command of, of what we're doing. Um, you know, at the line of scrimmage, out on the perimeter, his eyes being in the right uh, place to, to uh, identify his keys and, and uh, take him to the next progression. That's in the run game, that's in the pass game too. You got anything else? I think a couple days off this weekend and back from last week. What's your, kind of your message for your team going into the final week? Final um, at the end of the day, you got to uh, reset and reload. Uh, when we come back next week, uh, you control. You got to win each rep, you got to win each uh, period, you got to win each day. Um, this has been a great group and their uh, consistency, uh, that's the mental side of it in the meeting room, uh, how they've been physically and mentally out on the practice field, they've been awesome. Uh, expect that, you know, the back third of, of spring ball. Next week's a huge uh, week for our development as a program in every phase at every position with every guy on our roster. Um, you know, they're going to finish today pretty early, noon, have a chance. Um, to get with their families, enjoy the weekend. If they're not going home, um, you know, spend time with uh, us as a staff. And uh, you know, Sunday night um, we'll have a team meeting. Be ready to reload and get after it Monday morning. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.